Please tell me that's a hickey from Enid Coral. Let me cut it out of you, Coral. Did I can I... cut it out. That won't work. There's a dumpster outside, Coral. Let me slide you underneath. You don't know. Dad. You never know. This isn't a fake out. This doesn't make any sense, Coral. I know. I survived everything. Atlanta, CDC, the farm, the prison where mom died, the governor's attacks, fucking terminus. No, I mean, literally, Carl, like it literally does not make sense. You become bad as fuck in the comics. I got shot by Otis. I lost my eye thanks to that fucker, Ron. She licks your eyeball, Coral. I wanted to see her lick your eyeball on TV, Coral. And then I get bit because I had to save some guy we met in the premiere for like eight seconds. I hope they don't pull a Noah and kill him off before the fucking season ends. I wanted to see them adapt this, Coral. I wanted to see her lick your eyeball. That's some kinky ass shit. Where's Michonne? Where? Where's anybody? No one watches this show anymore, Cole. We got nobody for skits. It's just us now. Who's... Who's responsible for this? Scott Gimple! Ah, and I would've got away with it too if it weren't for your darn Grimeses. Well, I mean I... He's dying. Yeah, I got bit, so he's, you... He's dying. You did get away with it. Oh yeah! I did get away with it. I'm Scott Gimple. This, this wasn't anything to do with the AMC budget cut, was it? <laughs> Nonsense. Of course not, okay? This is vital and essential to the story that I'm trying to tell. It has nothing to do with AMC. I mean, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> you told me on my 18th birthday, Gimple. Is it because I would have asked for more money as being compared to paid as a minor before? <laughs> Let me stop you there, okay? Face it, kid. You don't have the acting chops in order to do all the badass things that Carl gets up to in the comic books. I'm doing you a favor. That was uncalled for. Fuck off, Gimple. You know this had to do with AMC budgeting cuts and nobody giving a shit about your adaptation of All Out War. You know he's got the acting chops. Remember that Negan scene from last season? Oh, wah, wah, wah. Cry all you want, boys. You told my dad I was good for another three years. I just bought a house in Atlanta. You need to not be in charge anymore. <sighs> well, actually, I'm being replaced as showrunner by the end of the season, so oh, there's thank that. God, thank yes. God. Oh, maybe it'll be good now. That's a victory. To oversee the creative development of both The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. No! <laughs> no! No! Buckle up, boys. It's gonna be one gimply of a ride. What up? Hey, hey guys! We're the normies. We're back to watch The Walking Dead. Woo! Season eight, episode nine. Woo! Woo! Honor. I mean, oh. honor. Honor. Is this the one that honor. Carl dies in? Nope. Yep. Carl is actually an undiable um, Unkillable. mummy. He's unfuckwithable. So full disclaimer, we've already watched a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. A little teeny, teeny tiny bit. So far it's ain't bad. We, we saw Rick and Michonne's reaction to <laughs> Carl's bite reveal, which wasn't what we expected. It's yeah. Funny. Yeah. Cheers. I'm pretty bummed still, though. Yeah. It's, yeah. It sucks. I'm, uh, I'm just interested in seeing where it's going to go. See Taking it, it like go. a man. Take it, taking it like a champ, if you will. Oh. I wrote a bunch of notes. I'm hoping that his note to Enid is just, I wish we would have fucked at least once. <laughs> Rick's all like, maybe, that, maybe that, that's in the PS. Them, they, what do you, what do you say? Them, what? they. That, they. The, them. But, but them. But they, it's, the, they, that. Ended it. Yeah. yeah, what was that about? He was he, just like trying to be like, this ne- is their Negan's fault, right? fault. It's yeah. Sandra's fault. Yeah. Like, this happened. You know. He's, he's got a shit blame. Yeah, blamed. he can't believe it. Well, oh he can't. He can't shake. He's in a war right now. He can't shake that. Like yeah. something other than that is what caused this. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So he was like, right, he was prepared to like be like, if I lose my son to Negan, I can take that. And then instead of yeah. like, no, you lost him in a different way. I would say yeah. even indirectly, it, it was because of Negan. Maybe he would have had someone with him. You well, know, there wasn't a lot of people at the well, wall. If that's the case, you can blame everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Honor, guys. Honor. 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 Oh, man. Fucking Zooks. He's looking rough. I love Zix. Uh, they're going back to when it actually happened. Uh, Ew! Uh, ah! Just a quick little nibble. Damn. When you feel it like that. I 
really thought he would outlive his dad. He should have. Yeah. Give everybody goodbye messages? I think so. You had the time. Yeah, so he had this planned out like this wasn't as impromptu as it seemed in the finale. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Uh, you know, I was gonna say they don't have any pictures. So I was just thinking that house yeah. is definitely getting burned down. Just coming back from Wakanda. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, Shut, Shut up! No. He killed my brother, and I'm not gonna let him kill you. Get out of here! Is this new Carl? Carl II. Oh, the discount Carl. Thank you. Call Carl Jr. Carl That's Jr. hardly a joke. <laughs> God, damn it. <laughs> that was uncarled for. <laughs> no. You're all fired. It's them. It's them. They, they don't. It wasn't. I hope we get Savage Rick back after this. Nigga's gonna kill you now. No. I said he's gonna kill you. Hey. You hear me? What do you want him to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I buried my people to freedom. I liked you, Ezekiel. You didn't get any big ideas in your head. And then Rick went and planted one right in there. Rick was a farmer for a point. He knows how to plant things. Where he at? Kang. Hi, uh, Kingdom. The Kang. Oh, is that kid actually there? Let the kid die, dude. He fucked No, up. he really came? Maybe that's what they'll do. They'll have like him do all the cool stuff Carl was supposed to do. They'll help a little with the fever. Please take them. Your son. You should have them. You about to get Michonne, about to the fuck out. It's not his fault. I don't think Michonne was looking at him like he was mad. She, she was mad. Uh, You're a doctor. So. Oh, he's a doc? He's a resident. Fucking brown person who's a resident. Go figure. After they let up, after they're gone, that's when we go. It really is the best plan. Yeah. Mm. I'm claustrophobic. I agree with Daryl. They're just sitting in a tube waiting to get shot. It's a pretty big tube. Henry! Oh, Henry! Oh, Henry, we're hard, though. Shit. So he's stuck in my gun. Come on. Morgan, you, you got work to do. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Roll for corruption. Okay. Ew. Fucking <laughs> offended. They could have found him. I know. No one's gonna worry about them. Questioning that you're killing people. You're in a war. Yes. Why are you worried? I mean, yeah, I mean, she he is, is deteriorating, but what about that? about the fact that he's being... A little kill-hungry? A little, yeah. little crazy? Bubble gum. I mean, kill you got to double-tap him, though. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Hey, man, he's trying to rack up that XP before he goes to fear the ball. Yeah, those are technically his kills. Like, <laughs> Carol didn't get those. Oh, God, every time they cut to him, he looks worse. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Yeah, he just wants kills. Oh, uh, she's trying to go stealthy, but they are literally fighting a war, so, like, if, it, if he can get the kill... So go for it. Nah, I can't get the three people. He's entered the realm of fucking He's up. not immortal. He really thinks he is. Somebody's gonna shoot a shot. Right there. Ah, uh, see? At Dumbass. least tell Carol what the fuck you're doing, Morg. Yeah, if you're on a team, you're on a team, Doc. But he can't die. He I said that I once, didn't die. he? I don't die. Dude, Polly, where are you at? They're dead. Yeah. They got stabbed in the air with a giant toothpick. Stop picking dangles. Grab your walk. Picking dangles. <laughs> it is not too late to walk back from something to say. Ooh. Scary. Not a murder team. Heavy. Is it really just Carol and Morgan? <laughs> like, I mean, out this entire batch of saviors. They're like a covert op. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're just are like max level, man. In this world, they're essentially the SEAL Team Six. This is that flash forward that we saw in the premiere. Your Honor. Listen when he tells you stuff. You don't have to always. Sometimes kids gotta show their parents the way. It's uh, gonna give her the hat. Perhaps she'll be the best. This was dad's before it was mine. I'm just having me admit, I always kept dad with me. 
made me feel as strong as him. Before mom died, she told me that I was gonna beat this world. But you will. I know you will. Sad episode. <laughs> Don't make no sense. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess Judith. I guess they'll have Judith do all the bad <sighs> Maybe she. Maybe. Is Judith about as old or no? She's younger than when Carl. Was Way in younger. In season one. Yeah. Carl oh, in season yeah. one could talk. Judith can't. Judith was born in season three. Remember Carl was there. Mm-hmm. Had to shoot his mom in the face. But maybe they'll do a time jump. Oh man. Carol Morgan! Leroy Dick! He's got that four time Acox joint. Where did this fucker come from? He fell down after getting shot, what looked like to be right here. Two times joint. You got an M4? Two times? Is he trying to bite him? He's already turned. No. No, he's gonna get stabbed. Morgan, kill this motherfucker! This is a big ass dude. Morgan's not a big ass dude. No one else is shooting him. <laughs> what is he pulling his intestines out? What is he doing? Oh, he did! What a gutsy move. Oh! You leave and Morgan, God! Oh my God. Good fatality. Right, they're all like, you just disembowel this dude? What the fuck? Pull the fucking Bjorn. So you know that he's going to be charged for a, he for a war crime. Right, they're like, dog. Right. Roll for a corruption. Okay, I was like, I think you got him. <laughs> I mean, Rick's done some crazy shit too, Alex. Oh, yeah. God, he's... You badass, Morgan. You crazy, guy. right? He said, Jesus. Put him out of his misery, right? He's, is he gonna throw Spiro. it? Oh, it? oh, that was way less cool than I thought. Why are you not stopping him? Go get him. We're not working still. We don't need to go. All of them are dead. Okay. Uh, and this is the time you abandon Morgan. Hey, Morgan, you did a good job, buddy. Maybe you can go work for the... Uh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, hey, he, he might be like the devil, but he's their devil. He's our devil for now. Don't be the devil. You're gonna have to stab him in the head. <laughs> Get out of here with that. My best friend, Michelle. <sighs> You're mine, too. You're mine. What are you doing, bro? Are you freaking out? That's some weird being music. By the Terminator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Motor Morgan's about to walk by, all fucking crazy. Like he's being. Yeah, this is Morgan Myers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like Morgan's what? about to put his head on a fucking <laughs> spike, oh, dog. He's just. He's just drawing a pentagram now, or... <laughs> oh my god. Morgan's the fucking boogeyman. I think I know the skit for next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Shit! Sad. Back in the prison, there was a kid. He had a gun. Oh, I remember this. Shot him. Killed him. He was giving up, up and I shot him. Thing about him, how easy it was to just kill him. I don't like this. It is a forth. weird cut. Yeah, like, now we have to be in this killer mode. Oh, well, he's killing him. As Carl was just talking. You think I want to do this? You don't want to do this. I know it. I can see it. Yeah, I mean, good luck. You're about to cry, dog. <laughs> I have to. Give Morgan a hug, guys. I think he needs one. Oh, whoa. What? 
Uh, Where from? It was Henry the whole time. Henry with the easy kill. Oh, see Morgan. Morgan. Oh, I get what oh. they're doing. He's like Carl, and now he did it easily. And he's like Carl. He used to. I get he's it. Like right. Let's stick one through that neck. Really? You have a beard. Oh, oh that's Carl's vision. It's, it's bigger. The entire time. <sighs> Grayer. The entire time. The Sean's happy. Episode one. It was all for you. Right from the start. I'm gonna make it real. Do it. It, 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 it should be. I know. He I asked her to. Somebody you love. I have to do this. What? Me. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to make anybody kill me. Yeah. And so it's not on them, so they don't have to live I mean, with it. Yeah, if, if he's still here, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, okay, if I'm watching my son blow his brains out, or me doing it, I'm still going to be equally as affected. <laughs> yeah, but I would I still wouldn't want to make anybody do that. Yeah. I wouldn't make anybody, but whoever's up for this, come on. But he's kicking <laughs> Sitting the same way. As yeah. yeah. And the wound was in the same. Same place. side. Yeah. And like when they close, when when they would do like flashbacks, when they were like close on his eyes, he they were super he, pink. But that would literally end the show. Sad. And yeah, I don't know. Well, Andrew Lincoln's been show. talking about leaving too. So. Uh, uh, Carol, uh, anybody could take up the mantle next. So well, wow, damn, so sad. In the end, they should have just leave it with Carl and them digging a grave, and then there's sh- that last thing that was there to like fucking cliffhanger or what was very out of place well hopefully we get an answer for that cliffhanger by the end of this season I, well, like I was that. fine with that but it's just I don't know I, I didn't really get too emotional well I really just, were, oh, I got emotional on it that, that kind of like ruined it for me it was, yeah, hard. That it was, was hard for me to get emotional I did I did get emotional just because it's hard not to get emotional when you've been seeing like I don't know all the, the friendship yeah. that he had with Michonne you know when she was saying her goodbye we've like, been with Carl since day yeah. one man Carl was Almost. a big part of what made Michonne kind of crack her armor and, yeah. and become more integrated with the group. And so that was, you know, they call each other the best friend. That was. Uh, I didn't get very emotional, but um, this episode was cool. It was kind of introspective. Um, the stuff, the parallels are drawn between uh, Henry and um, Carl was interesting. I like that. Um, I'm kind of interested in how they're going to take it forward in the future and still get to be able to have like subtext in episodes when they're just going to war yeah. and with Carl imagining Negan in the future like that is a happy future and you know it would be nice if it could be like that but we both know that Negan and Rick can't both exist yeah 
Yeah, how he kept saying it can still be that way, or we can we, like you can live that life. I feel like that was a little repetitive towards the end there, but mm-hmm. it was still emotional. Like it's hard not to get emotional. So yeah, yeah, I feel like it was kind of like fed to the audience way like <sighs> like kind of assuming that audience can't figure this out. You know, mm. like the way they were cutting in between for me was very disruptive. <sighs> Mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, I feel right. like they made that choice because they thought that people would not get the parallel but I think that like if you watch it carefully you will still get it and they yeah. didn't need to do all this like cutting in between and just like yeah. breaking from like a very emotional scene into uh-huh. guts falling out of someone's stomach I'm sorry <laughs> but that is... yeah. yeah no I mean I, I'm, I'm with you there like uh, my opinion the way that I saw it it's like it disrespects Carl's character to yes. not give him the screen time that yes. he deserves. All yes. of the all the stuff that he's been through, all the you know his, his character development, and they and they cut between Carl dying and Morgan's morality. Yes. Like I, I really feel like Morgan's morality falls way lower in terms of what's important to show. Oh yeah. Than I mean, in Carl this episode dying. in particular. Yeah. Um, I'm speaking of Morgan's morality. Morgan's kill. It was really cool. Um, I enjoyed it and all. But uh, at this point, Morgan is the boogeyman, and he is a bit of a Terminator, so I do see why he's probably going to leave to go beyond Fear the Walking Dead. Who knows what Havoc Hill calls calls over there. But I'm just like, uh, he's like the more extreme version of Carol, and I kind of need him to, if I can get it together. Like, Morgan's always, Morgan's a man of extremes on either side, and like, Mm -hmm. at this point, I need him to find a happy medium. Just because his character is doing the same things that he's continued to do. So, like, his character is... Yeah. He hasn't had any character growth. He's just swung from one extreme re- to the other. Did he regret when he saw that? Um, at, yeah. Kevin or whatever? He- Henry. 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 Hopefully he did. Hopefully if we find out that he did and he's like, yeah. you know, i got to hang this up, then maybe... Yeah. He did so to influence his behaviors and have on the young, the youth. Yep. Toothpick yeah. through the neck. By the way, Taylor, if you're watching, thank you. Thank you so much for the artwork. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, it's Taylor. really awesome. Oh, I'm tired. Stop yelling. Yeah. Um, Stab it. Proper send off, but yeah, I do think they could have just showed us the entirety of that Morgan stuff, and then like, mm-hmm. then like Daryl and then them leaving. The like when, once everyone left, we should have just been left with Carl, Michonne, and Rick till yes. like the end. Yeah, I mean that's that, another yeah. thing. Like yeah. uh, themat- like thematically, they they were left alone, and we should have been left along with them as the audience. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, they're not just like cutting in. I I I understand that both of those things were happening simultaneously. I assume that's why they did that. Yeah, but they should just have not. Yeah, they really should have, because anything that happened opinion. in between wars, like this guy that died, is more important than showing us with you know showing Carl with Morgan and Rick. Um, the op the the intestinal I guess for, the, for the parallel. Yeah, I yeah. mean. Just all of it. The uh, recapping of the show, like Atlanta, the farm, the prison, like how Carl killed that one kid outside the prison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a that, that's some deep some deep callbacks there, and in a way, like if you're if you've been watching the show for that long and remember all those things, there's no way you cannot like feel the impact of this death. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm still not okay. But like that's. I don't think it was a good decision to kill him off, but obviously there's no, no way you you couldn't do that as emotional as they did. So I'm glad that at least I got emotional. You know what I mean? Yeah. The way they did it. If, if Even if it was a little bit dragged. But. I still think that uh, Carl should have been the person taking over and being the new, like, oh, like this is the new, like new show is finding a new kind of, Rhythm. feel you know like yeah, this yeah. is the this story is turning in a new direction and it's finally coming I, somewhere i, th- I thought that would have been cool of, now yeah. it's in the same if like rick died and then like years later it's like carl's story now yeah like, yeah yeah that's what i thought that's what i was hoping and then he's happen. raising judith so like I am he did feed him, feed rick that little morsel of keep like you know like you can still put down your gun and uh be you, like you farmer can make this rick real yeah. you can make this real farmer rick yeah farmer rick <laughs> I don't know. After you bite, you know, the jugular out of someone's neck and yeah, go you gotta bite carrots the same way. So you know, farmer jugular, same. <laughs> uh, I was watching Carl on Channel Riggs on Fear the uh, not Fear the Walking on Talking Dead right now. Oh uh, my God! Look at that old picture of him, Laurie and Rick. First episode. Damn, 
he grew up on in front of our TVs. Did we just see him grow yeah. up in front of our eyes? Oh, look now, at him. Now I wonder if that's... Got to see him grow up now I and die. Have the same plan for Judith. Like, <laughs> now you're the... We have the same... Yeah. Now we can do the same thing all over again with Judith. <laughs> She's going to grow oh, up. Oh, jeez. Uh, I like how it started. The... Judith, Judith is just too start? young to like, mean anything it, it later. It started with, like, a good pacing. The yeah. recap of the day. And the recap. And uh, then, date. like... It moved kind of like smoothly, but then like it just it just got weird at the very end. It's just the Morgan so Park. Cutting, I yeah. liked this episode. Oh. But then like it just got it just screwed it so hard that I'm just I, I feel very un, uneasy about this. Yeah, it was cool for me. I'm just interested in seeing what we're gonna do in the future and how we're gonna progress past this. It was uh, it was emotional. It happened. We couldn't do anything about it. Emotional, 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 emotional. What the yeah. fuck is this? I don't know. This is a it's very a unnecessary. It's a... I thought this would be just about Chloe. No, it's everyone who died. Yeah, they always do everyone. Oh, this happens every time? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen this before. There we go. Oh! oh. Yep, he got shot there. Nice. The deer that looks oh. so much better than the other CGI deer. <laughs> Look Jeez, at a little he's car! so young. Doing dumb shit. Hey, Carl got, never learned. Got this, Dale killed. This scene. Oh, it's the meme. Show the meme face. Come on. Aw. <laughs> oh, that's the one he went back for. Oh, sweet. Huh? The prison? Pudding. Pudding. This is the biggest send off any character's gotten for sure. Eyeball missing. Oh, yeah. that scene. That feeling. That, that feeling, feeling when? <sighs> hmm, I feel like he would have had more uh, older stuff to show. Yeah. Well, the show is not terrible. What about Dean? I'm not okay with this. Yeah, me neither. No caption, huh? Yeah, you can't. Oh. You fucked up, Scott. Oh. You fucked up, Scott. You fucked uh. up. These guys fucked up. The show's dead. Dead meme. Uh. <laughs> dead meme. Well, why? I don't know, guys. Are you gonna keep watching it? That episode, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see the end of the Negan arc. You done fucked up, guys. You done fucked up. Uh, you done screwed the pooch on well, this one. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, they, they done screwed the pooch on this one. <laughs> well, Screw in lighter notes, I uh, hope you guys liked the skit before this. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys liked the skit. It yeah. was a little, uh, you know. We didn't the... have any insider knowledge of the, that, the actual dad. So <laughs> we pretty impressed by the accuracy. It just happens to work out that way. In other words, <laughs> AMC, if you need a couple of writers. It's gotta be. So let's hey. know. Hey. This whole room sitting here. Everybody yeah. tweeted AMC, Cash tell him to give us the show. The normal <laughs> dead. <laughs> give the, show. the normie dead? The normal the no dead. The normal All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 R.I.P. Carl Grimes. Bye. Bye. Chandler, if you watch these, if you watch reactions of yourself to see how we feel... I love you, man. Yeah, man. Thank come sit so on the much. couch with us, dog. We'd love come to talk sit on with the you. Oh, my God. Couch Carl. Down. Hashtag Couch I'll, Carl. I'd love to come kick. I would love for you to come here. We'd kick it. Yeah. Cool. Show you a normie time. Really cool. That would be cool. We promise not to publish anything that you say to us in confidence about you know, the, <laughs> the goings on. 100%. <laughs> All, All off the record. Well, Bye. He's off the show. He's not under NDA anymore. Uh, you never know. You know how deep the NDAs are now? Blood. Yeah, it could like run an extra two years after the show ends. Oh, some NDAs are just like permanent. Oh. I am ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. That was on camera. That was on 
camera. Ah! Hey everyone, thank you for watching the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead with us. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed this and you want us to keep watching. Check out some of our other Walking Dead videos here, and you can check out this episode uncut on our Patreon. Big shout out to all of our super patrons and patrons and subscribers for keeping this channel going, and we will see you next time.